<laughs> Hello everybody and welcome. Um, thank you for joining us and um, you probably wondered what ever happened to me because I disappeared didn't I? Well, um, what actually happened was that we moved moved house. We've moved from Etna Furnace to a new location and um, about 50 miles away. So that was the reason why I was not able really to upload any more clips because with the upheaval of moving house and moving the, the pottery, um, you know, it's kind of stressful the whole operation and I didn't really feel I had anything to really say really you know because uh, everything was in turmoil so such is life you all know what it's like don't you when you move house it's a pretty you can't find anything everything's in boxes you don't know anyway to cut a long story short <laughs> um, I'm very happy to be back with you again and I hope to be continuing um, what I've done is, in this present location where we are, which is in Milheim, Milheim, PA, uh, that's 16854, you can zip code find that, um, we're setting up here, this is a, an old barn, it's a converted barn, and where we are right now is in the basement, right in the bottom of the barn, and I'll just swing the camera around. There's not a lot to see. Not a lot to see in in here, really. Um, this is uh, where the cows used to be. Down here, it's all old beams and all that kind of thing, you know. Um, but there's lots of uh, little cubby holes and places to explore around here. Um, I do have a. I do have a. a what I'm going to be doing is converting. A three bay garage into a studio and right now I've got all my stuff up there in the in that garage and um, it's all very chaotic <laughs> and very cold out there at the moment we've got you know a few inches of snow out here um, so what I did was like I did at Etna Furnace set up a small studio downstairs in the warmth so that's what I'm doing anyway this is my pottery. <laughs> this is this is how it's going to be for the next for the next few months until the warmer weather comes and then we set up the studio upstairs. Um, but in this basement here, where we do have we do have heating, and we do have quite a few power points all around, I can set up here with electric wheels, and I've got about four or five electric wheels, so. What I'm planning to do is to, to probably run a workshop in January. So if anybody's interested, keep your eyes peeled on our website, simonleachpottery.com, and I'll put an update there for some dates. And we will uh, continue. It'll be a keep practicing workshop. You'll be throwing. You'll have your own wheel. We can probably take about five people. So limited, but if that interests anybody, then please go to our website. We'll try and get some dates up there as soon as possible. Anyway. So, um, what have I got for you today? Well, I thought, and I've been meaning to do this for a little while, is I wanted to show you, uh, or give you my thoughts anyway, on this little wheel the little Shimpo Aspire wheel and um, I thought I would do a review of it so here goes I'll tell you I'll, I'll give you my honest thoughts about it um, well to start with of course it just plugs into a regular to your regular socket doesn't it no big deal about that that's pretty that's pretty normal. Um, quite a solid, quite a solid little um,
metal base, molded plastic, quite robust. Um, now, uh, the on off switch here, you've got a on off switch there. And you have the speed control here on this little lever. And that does give you quite a good range of speed. It will go fairly slowly. They, they say, they say that the wheel, the wheel is good to throw 20 pounds of clay. Now, I haven't actually tried it to do that. Um, what else? Let me just show you the, the little bats. It's supplied, it supply you with a couple of these plastic bats, which are okay. Um, you m one might prefer the, uh, the other bat, the what do they call it? Here's one over here. Um, well, this is a this is of course a much bigger one. It's one of these wonder bats, but they do make them. They do make them for this wheel, you see. So they make them this size to go on here. So, so you've got this little plastic plastic um, tray slops slops tray. Um, which is okay, it's adequate, you know, uh, bearing in mind the size of the wheel. And you can you give it a twist like that, you see, it comes off. So you've got these three ears that locate into these places here. It's an aluminium, aluminium wheel head. So that goes like that, you turn it and then you give it a firm, like that, and, okay, and he's, he's good. It's quite, it's quite tough plastic, and then you've got your bats which have got your holes which locate on the pins, and as usual you'll have a trouble locating that maybe, oh no, I'm lucky, I've got it. Um, I'm not sure what it weighs, but it's easy to lift up, you see, it's easy to lift up. You've got your motor in here, and then you've got a belt that goes uh, around the a pulley underneath here. So, um, As far as the noise is, and it's quite, you'll find with these bats that they, sometimes you need to, I find, make sure that everything is clean here, you see, before you, What I find with these bats are always a trouble to locate. What you can do is get an electric drill and drill these right the way through to the other side. You can, it, it, it may help you to see to locate. I, I do that with my my other my other plastic bats that I've had. I have. Um, Let's say, what else can I say about the wheel? I'll throw some clay on it in a second. Um, one, of the, one of the really great things about this wheel, which gives it tremendous advantage over um, a lot of other wheels, in fact, almost every other wheel, and really the main reason, well, I won't say the main reason, but one of the reasons that I got this wheel was because the motor in this wheel is only a hundred watts. 
So that means with one of these guys, which you can buy online or at a many shops, sell them, it's an inverter. This is an inverter, and this is a 400 watt inverter. So I can plug this into my car, into the, into the uh, lighter socket. It also comes with other uh, crocodile cl clips, so you, so you can clip it onto your battery if you want to, uh, directly. And that might be better sometimes to correct, connect directly to the battery, uh, depending on your, your cigarette lighter socket. So, with this, I can take this wheel, put it in the back of my car, take some clay and go down to the river, the lake, the beach, the mountain, wherever I want to go, and I can make pots. Uh, I think that's a great, a great um, advantage. Ah, oh, no, it's not going to be an advantage to everybody, you know, everybody, not everybody's going to want to go to the mountain top are they to make pots but you know uh, I did use this wheel not so long ago you did see me actually uh, running it from the back of the car if you remember that clip so I think that's uh, it gives it an advantage also I like having one of these things anyway around the house because with an extent with an extension cord I can uh, put my car next to the house, plug this in, and I can run electricity into my house for basic lighting and everything like else like that. So it's a good thing, a good standby. If you don't have a generator, get one of these and just hook it up to your car, and you've got yourself some good emergency electric, domestic electric. Okay, folks, so that's that. Um... Let's just take a lump of clay. It's got a little place here you can put your, your water pot. And uh, let's move the camera a little bit around, around the side here. And um, now I've put this wheel, as you see, on one of these... Um, one of these tables, you know, one of these folding, folding type tables. Uh, one of the w ones that fold in, in the middle. And I've got myself a chair. A chair. It's a little bit of a, a higher chair, actually. But you can, you just have to work that out, you know, in terms of where you want to put it, at what height. You could put it on the ground, couldn't you? got uh, four little rubber feet under here so I'm gonna I bring those feet as close to the edge of the table as I can you see so got my tools here my hands <laughs> Now you do notice as you apply pressure, you notice the the motor, I won't say straining, but let's say taking up the strain a little bit as you as you begin to apply a bit of pressure. Now, this wheel 
you can, if you want to, buy directly from Shimpo a, a, tr a pedal. And the pedal is, it's a simple little job, you can wire in the pedal. And then, then this lever is not working anymore, you know? It's either or, one or the other. You either have the pedal or you have this, you can't have them both at the same time. But you can buy for a little bit extra, you can buy, you can buy that. So, if I want to go a bit slower, you see. It's important, isn't it, to have a good a good sensitive speed adjustment. I like to go quite slowly, you see, if I'm doing a, a bowl. Um, So we're just throwing a little bowl here for you. Um, where's my leather? Where's my leather? Dee, 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 dee. Well, it's good to be back in the clay again, isn't it? <laughs> well, I don't have my leather here at the minute, but never mind. Cut that fella off. And... Um, I oh, need a rag as well. See, I'm not properly set up yet, am I? I still need to... There he is. I'll put him over here. So folks, there it is, the Shimpo Aspire. The little Shimpo Aspire. I think, I mean, I personally, I, I, I like the wheel, you know. I mean, I the one, one disadvantage of this wheel is that you're, you're limited if you want to throw something very wide, you see, like a big charger or a big plate, you can't go out wider than, so you can't really make anything much wider than that. But, you know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you know, how, if I really wanted to be making dinner plates, maybe I wouldn't be using a wheel like this. This wheel has got a lot of a lot of things that it can do and I don't think it we should penalize it for one thing that it can't it can do an awful lot of things in a in a lot of different places because of the because of this guy that you can w work with it you could probably with an ordinary wheel with any other kind of wheel you could probably use one of these but you need a more powerful one you see this has just got a 100, 100 watt motor, so it's very, gives it enough power for what you need, but it means that you can use that, plug it into your car and go, go off, which I like. 
So it's also a good little wheel if you if you want to go and give demonstrations. You know, it's easy to lift up, put it in the back of your car, and uh, so. Well, you've heard what I have to say about it. Um, that's my honest opinion of the wheel. Uh, I've had a lot of Shimpo wheels over the years. Uh, I find them to be reliable. I've got Shimpo wheels that are probably go. Uh, I've got a Shimpo wheel actually. I think probably goes back to the late 1960s, and um, you know. So. I'll leave that with you, the Shimpo Aspire. Um, yeah, anyway, good to be back with you. And uh, let's all keep practicing. The weather's cold, but let's just heat up our studios a bit and get that clay out. And if you're gonna be throwing, remember, take your clay out of your frozen studio at nighttime, put it into the house. And then when you're gonna go throwing in the morning, take your clay with you from the house back into the studio, heat the studio up, and you won't be, you won't be throwing with freezing cold clay. <laughs> hey, keep practicing. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.